A woman hired to care for a 90 year old hospice patient is arrested behind bars, accused of being passed out drunk while her patient was screaming for help after falling to the floor. 11 Alive's John Sherrick spoke with the patient's daughter tonight, who is angry and has a word of warning for all of us. She is the neighborhood sweetheart. Betty Henry, 90 years old, has lived in her Cobb County home for nearly 50 years, everyone's dear friend. And she's now in home hospice care, needing round-the-clock live-in caregivers. But last week, after Henry's daughter in Florida couldn't reach her, police broke into Henry's house, her daughter listening to it all on her phone. And she is screaming for help, and the alarms are going off on the bed. And then police found Henry's caregiver, Tracy Sanders, in her room. And when the policeman opened the door, he went, oh my. He said the smell of alcohol would have knocked you down. She was completely knocked out, drunk, stone cold, out of it. Police charged Sanders with felony neglect to the elderly. Sanders' husband, John McLenathan, also working as one of Betty Henry's live-in caregivers, was already in jail, charged with beating Sanders. Neighbor Dwight Benjamin Creel, who often checks on Henry, says he had just called Henry's daughter to warn her about the caregivers. I saw a pint bottle sitting in the back pocket of the woman. She was really slurring her words. She was really intoxicated. It was easy to tell. At first they were great, but they sure scammed me. They put on a big front. You can't imagine how mad I am. Byerly says she thought she'd done a thorough background check on the couple before hiring them a few months ago. For her mother's sake, she tells everyone now. Make a 100% sure you know who you're getting and where they're from, you, you've got to be 100%. Betty Henry, doing better, hopes to return home from the hospital soon with her new caregiver.